Top story, many Utahns are cleaning up the mess left over by the strong winds earlier today. News specialist Brianna Chavez now joins us live with a look at some of the damage left behind today. Brianna. Yeah, Dan, we had lots of crazy weather today. Let me show you one example of a place that got hit hard with this wind. We're at a church right across the street from Liberty Park. They had a portion of their roof fly off because of the strong winds that we had earlier today. And again, this is one of many places with leftover wind damage. There goes a the trampoline. From trampolines to trees, strong winds blew their way through the state. We no longer have pine trees in our yard anymore. Denise Cable from Mount Sterling said pine trees at her mother's and sister's home were pushed down, blocking the driveway of her mother's home. She's one of many KSL viewers who sent us videos and photos of the damage these winds left behind. The winds were very strong. In Nephi, this tree, more than 100 years old, according to the city, completely uprooted, landing on top of a small bathroom building at the Nephi City Park. It's a, kind of a sad thing because it's, I mean, it's such an old tree and uh, I believe, from what I've been told, it was planted by some of the founding members of Nephi. And in Salt Lake City, church leaders at Gospel Grace Church spending most of the day trying to fix this roof damage caused by the wind. The power of the wind, just a little bit of the wind got on the membrane on the corner and just, just kind of peeled it back. Will Galkin, one of the pastors, says thanks to community members, they were able to get a tarp up just before Sunday morning service. It causes you to consider our frailty you know, causes us to consider, you know, something's beyond us. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of viewer submissions, so thank you for sending those photos in. Now, Rocky Mountain Power is also, or the wind, I should say, also knocked out some power. Rocky Mountain Power is still trying to fix some customers' power, so they are asking for the community's patience right now. Now, if you have any pictures you still like to send us, just head over to our website, ksltv.com, and click on the As You See It tab. Dan? Yeah, big mess out there and a lot of cleanup left. Thanks a lot, Brianna Chavez, live for us tonight.